What up, y'all? It's your boy Sam Adams checking in once again. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about um, Keefe D. Keefe D has finally been arrested for the murder of Tupac Shakur. Um, and, and it's crazy that it's taking this long because Keefe D has literally been confessing for a very long time. Um, but first of all, just make sure that you follow us on uh YouTube at Let's Argue Show. Um, man, follow us everywhere, man. Um, I'm at said line C E D L I N U S uh on all platforms. And I'm gonna go ahead and just uh read off um I'm gonna go ahead and read off just uh other places you can find us at. I got it uh written down. Um yeah, so you can follow the morning show let's argue with Prince Carlton on Instagram at The Morning Show Let's Argue, on Twitter at Let's Argue Show, and on fan base at Let's Argue Show. Uh, you can follow my brother Prince Carlton on Instagram at underscore Prince Carlton underscore, on Twitter at underscore Prince Carlton underscore, and on fan base at Prince Carlton. And you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and fan base at said line, C-E-D-L-I-N-U-S. Um, man, let's get into it, man. We got to break down. We have to break down this Keefe D uh, situation. Uh, so, if anybody don't know who Keefe D is, um, Keefe D uh, is a self-proclaimed, uh, I guess, Compton Crip, I guess. Um, and he has been saying over the past, I guess, five years, that he was in the white Cadillac that killed Tupac Shakur. He never said he was the one who pulled the trigger, but he does admit to passing the gun to the back seat where there was three other people. Now he's the lone survivor of the people that were in that car. Now, I don't know if y'all watched a lot of the Tupac documentaries, but in Tupac, in one of the documentaries, it was a detailed, um, they played tape, tape of Keefe D. Now, Keefe D was arrested on, um, I guess, drug charges. And this was back in maybe the 2000s. I'm not sure exactly what year it was, but it was after the Tupac murder, probably in the 2000s. And um, so Keefe D, he made a deal with the uh, uh, police department, and I think it's the LAPD. He made a deal. He and uh, they said, "Look, we're gonna play a tape. If you can tell us what happened in a Tupac murder, then we will not um, prosecute you. I, I, I mean, I mean, they will not use that tape to prosecute him for the Tupac murder. So, in exchange for getting lesser time for his drug charges, he told." exactly what happened in the Tupac murder. Now, when he did that, there was an agreement that they could not use that information that he was giving them to prosecute him for the Tupac murder. But actually, anything that he says outside of that tape can be used against him for the Tupac murder. And this is where this comes in because... Keefe D decided to write a book. Keefe D decided to go on Vlad many times. Keefe D goes on Art of Dialogue many times. Um, and Keefe D lives in Las Vegas. So, with all those things adding up, I'm just going to let you know step by step exactly what Keefe D has said many times. Um that have happened. Um, I'm just going to give you the detail um, of what he says happened. Now, Keefe D says that he was, he was a member of the Company Crips and Death Row was part of uh, the Pyro gang in Compton. Both rival gangs in Compton. But all of them grew up with each other. So when Puffy would come out to LA, he would have Compton Crips they're protecting him from any type of violence that will come his way from the death row Pyro gang, which Suge Knight was a part of. Okay. 
Now, Death Row and the Pyru gang, they heard that there was a bounty on a Death Row chain from Puffy. That if anybody steals a Death Row chain, Puffy would pay them $10,000 if he got the chain back. So, one of the guys um, from Death Row or from the Pyru gang, you know, it's all, it's all together. It's all mixed up. He went into a mall one day, ran into some cop in the cribs and got jumped and got his chain taken. So, now, the feeling is that Puff Daddy paid someone $10,000 to take the death row chain and the chain, the death row chain is going back to Puff Daddy. So I, all my life, I always wondered why did Tupac feel the need to be the one to beat up Baby Lay in the casino after the Tyson fight? And I can kind of gather a reasoning, even though it wasn't right. I can gather a reasoning that maybe he felt like the Puff Daddy beef was a part, was a beef that he brought to Death Row, where he brought to the whole, you know what I'm saying, situation. So he felt like that beef was on him. So fast forward, after the Tyson fight in Las Vegas, they see Baby Lane, who's Keefe D's nephew, who's also a cop in the crib. They see him in the casino standing by himself. I guess someone alerted Tupac that that's like one of the guys that stole the chain from the other death row member. Tupac proceeds to go punch Baby Lane in the face and, and Suge Knight and everybody that was with them began stomping out Baby Lane. Now, this is all allegedly what I'm saying because this is all from the mouth of Keefe D. Now, after Baby Lane gets stomped out and he connects back with his four people that, that's from the Compton Crips, which is Keefe D and two other people, he wants to get his licks back. He want to fight Tupac one-on-one. -on -one. So everybody knew that Suge Knight was going to have a big party at his club, 662 in Las Vegas. So Keefe D and the Compton Crips go to Club 662, and they wait for Tupac to show up. Tupac doesn't show up while they're waiting there. This is from the mouth of Keefe D. So, they come back, and they meet up with Zip. Now, Zip is a guy, is, is another guy who's like a go-between between Puff Daddy and the Cop the Crips. He's the one who's connect, who connected them. And they got their gun from Zip because they didn't have a gun while they was out there. And I, 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 I'm I, pretty sure Kiwi D says that from Zip's mouth, it was uh, recognized that, uh, remember, Puffy has some money on the head of Suge Knight or Tupac, whoever can get it done. So, Kiwi D and them, they have the gun. Now they leave 662, they, they left 662, they're driving around trying to find Tupac and Suge Knight. So they're driving up the strip in Las Vegas and they see some women screaming, hollering and um, at a vehicle and they realize, okay, that's Tupac and Suge Knight. So they drive up beside um, Tupac and Suge Knight. Keefe D says he passes the gun to the back. And he, when he passed the gun to the back, they said when they pulled, Keefe D says when, pull, when he pulled up, he feels like he, he thinks Tupac was reaching for something. And so they began shooting at Tupac and Shug Knight. Now, everything that I've told you so far, and it's crazy, but everything I have just said so far is what Keefe D has said publicly. Already on Art of Dialogue, Vlad TV, whatever. He's he said it already. And he said it numerous times and he said it in his book. So he pretty much has incriminated himself. Um, I think he thought that maybe time had passed, he've already you know, and um so I think he was just talking 
a lot, talking way too much. Uh, but it looks like if you admit to doing it on social media and on the internet, then your days are numbered. You know what I'm saying? Your days are numbered. Um, so I think he's probably going to go down. Now, what I don't know so far is uh, what new evidence that allowed them to have a search warrant because I, I, I believe that you have to have some sort of new evidence. So I don't know if they found some, uh, found something, whether or not somebody else said something that corroborated uh, something. I have no idea. But that's pretty much uh, what happened is that I feel like the police department, whether it's Las Vegas or LAPD, since they already knew that Keefe D was in that white Cadillac that killed Tupac, because he already said it on tape. They just sat back and waited until he incriminated himself. Any other place. And once he began and, and decided to incriminate himself, um, that's when they made a move on him. But it seems a little bit late because it's, he's been doing it. So I'm really trying to figure out exactly what made them make a move now? Um, could be just a a distraction. Could be um, somebody could be trying to get reelected. Um, somebody was maybe feeling a lot of pressure from the families. It could be anything, but something made this case pop now. And I don't think it was just Keefe D talking because he's been talking. And so we're going to see how this develops. Um, and we'll see what happens. But I think Keefe D pretty much has been telling them himself for years. And this is what happens. Um, so just let me know how y'all feel. Uh, let me know what y'all think about the, uh, Keefe D being arrested for two-part murder. Being the only one in the, in the vehicle that's still alive. So you got to take the rap whether he shot the gun or not. Um, y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments. All right, peace.